Hey yo, what's up YouTube, man? It's your boy Ashton Jackson, and in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the Dallas Cowboys versus the New Orleans Saints, man. I know that Vegas has us as a six and a half point favorites against the New Orleans Saints. It's going to be in Dallas. I'm very excited for this matchup, and the Dallas Cowboys has to take care of this win, mainly because it's a uh, conference opponent, and you want to get as many NFC wins as you can. So that's why by the time you do get your get to your eventual 12 and five, maybe 13 and four record. Um, prayfully, you can get the number one seed and you don't got to play in the first round and things might shape out a little bit differently. But I'm going to talk about all that and more after the intro. So before we hop into the video, I appreciate if you guys like the video, subscribe if you're new, comment and share my video with anyone who you think will enjoy my content. To it. I understand that we are a six and a half point favorites, but to me, that don't mean nothing. I know that we are the better team. We have to go out and we have to go play like it. We're playing at home. This is our first regular season game that we have been playing that happened earlier this year in January. Past that, you know, we're going to have to redeem ourselves from that, but uh, this is our first time that we've had played a regular season or meaningful football game since then, right? So I know that's going to be a big uh, talking point in uh, tomorrow's game. I don't know they're going to talk about that a lot. So for me to avoid that and for that not to happen, I think the number one thing, thing that the Dallas Cowboys have to do is you got to start fast, man. No excuses. You're at home. You're the better team. Do what you're supposed to do. It, I talk about this all the time. You start fast. You gain that lead. We can play Dallas Cowboys football. If we make this into a track meet, New Orleans can't keep up in my opinion. I, I'm being for real right now because offensively, if we win the toss, if we want the toss, we win the toss, I want the ball. We go, we go down there, we get a quick seven, have Mike and all of them go feast and go get them boys. Because honestly, they have a bad and beat up offensive line. Uh, Talisa Fawaga is possibly going to be a, a questionable type of player. He did hurt his back, and I talked about that in yesterday's video saying how I went over the injury report for both teams. Uh, the only major one for the Dallas Cowboys is that Ferguson and John Stevens are not going to be playing. And then for the New Orleans Saints, have a... a crap ton of injuries and one of them is for their best offensive lineman arguably on their team with Talisu Fuwaga a rookie left tackle he's not gonna be playing but he but even if he does play um he's gonna have a beat up back and going up against uh, Michael Parsons in this pass rush I don't think that's gonna be uh good for you you know so start fast um offensively we go out there and we're gonna beat him over the head and then defensively go out stop the run and get after Derek Carr because he's mainly a statue compared to Deshaun Watson and then next week when you got to face my cousin Lamar. So uh, the second point I really got to do is uh, the defense had to contain Alvin Kamara. Uh, Alvin Kamara is their offense. That is like their Christian McCaffrey per se for the New Orleans Saints, right? So for them, everything goes through Alvin Kamara. Their run game, their pass games, uh, their extension of their run game is quick outlet passes to Alvin Kamara on screen routes. Uh, get him out there on Texas routes, on angle routes, uh, table routes. So they're trying to get the ball quickly out there to Alvin Kamara. They always give him uh, about 20 touches a game, uh, mainly receiving than they do rushing. Utilize him in a way like Debo, but not like Debo, but in a way where Debo and Alvin Kamara are similar in a way where they both can go out, line up, catch a pass. You, do, you don't want to put a slow-footed safety or a slow-footed linebacker on them, and they can beat you in uh, – have a really tough day against you if you really can't stop Alvin Kamara. So stop the run mainly is what I'm saying. And also stop Alvin Kamara because he also can hurt you in the pass game. So if you stop Alvin Kamara, I'm not worried about what else New Orleans has. I know Chris Olave is really good. I know Rashid Shahid is a deep threat wide receiver. I know Chris Olave can get open too. But um, those are some nice weapons that they do have. Taysom Hill, they utilize for everything. Wildcat quarterback, tight end, fullback, running back. They use them like a like a extension of like a Kyle use check for what the uh, Saints do for a guy like uh, Taysom Hill. But my third point I talked about earlier in part in starting uh, fast in the game is move a, is moving Michael around. You got to take advantage of another beat up offensive line. It's not our fault that, you know, two weeks in a row, we're going to have uh, inexperienced uh, beat up hurt offensive line. That's not our, that's not our fault. We just have to go out there and take care of business. Um, we mainly have to take care of that right side again, like they talked about in yesterday's video. Take care of that right side with uh, Cesar Ruiz, and then you got uh, Trevor Penning at right tackle. Mainly take uh, advantage of that. But again, uh, if we put Michael on that side where whoever the replacement for Talisi Fuaga is going to be, 
use that as well to your advantage. You can move around Micah Parsons, whatever you can. The only person that's, that's able to stop Micah is himself and Mike Zimmer. Those are the only two people that can stop Micah Parsons from messing up a game. So do what we got to do, moving around, put him at linebacker, um, have him draw back in coverage. If if need be, I don't think that that's a great idea all the time. But if we're doing it in the spots, that's fine. If we're double mugging with him and overshone, that's great as well. So we can move Micah Parsons around and we'll be okay. Um, another point I got, pay attention to detail. That was on both sides of the ball, honestly, in my opinion. But mainly I'm talking about um, defensively. Because defensively, um, the Saints offense, they are like how they ran their offense week one. I don't know, are they going to be like that all the time? Or was it just like how the Dallas Cowboys are? They run their motion at home. They don't mostly do it on the road. Um, do they do it against weaker opponents? Like, what are what are they going to do, right? Because what they've been doing uh, last week, because that's all the type of uh, tape that people have on them, they have this year than they have last year, but their offense is completely different this year than it was last year. Last year they were stagnant, they would line up, things of that nature. Now, first week of the season versus the Panthers, they motioned. They out-motioned the Niners, the Dolphins, who are the two most motion-heavy teams in the league, and the New Orleans Saints did that, right? So we got to pay attention to uh, the motion. That's what really messes up uh, defensively. So hopefully, like I said, pay attention to detail. Uh, DeMarvin Overshaw, mainly our linebackers and our uh, corners, we got to pay attention to that and communicate. As long as we're communicating, paying attention to detail and flying around playing physical from start to finish, which is my next point, we're going to be fine against New Orleans Saints. I think all we have to do is out physical this team, and I believe we're able to do that. We'll be okay as well. Uh, my next point for offensively, I beat them over the head, man. Like, Marshall Lattimore ain't going to be there. Uh, Alante Taylor got three sacks. They're going to try to use him as a blitzing corner. Please blitz Dak Prescott. New Orleans, man, I'm begging. I'm praying that you guys blitz this entire game because we'll carve you up the entire game. And Dak Prescott is the number one best quarterback against pressure. Him, Burrow, I want to say, and, uh, of course, Patrick Mahomes, right? So those are three, like the three best quarterbacks when it comes um, against pressure. So, do that uh, again. Beat him over the head with CD um, Cooks and Tolbert. Tolbert needs to step up. Ferguson is out. So when Ferguson normally is in here, he is the second target behind um, CD Lamb. So again, with Ferguson not being in here, now you're in terms of when you're dropping back and passing, your priority goes CD Cooks Tolbert. Now we need Tolbert to step up. And to be our solidified third wide receiver. Because if he can't get it done, I can see the Dallas Cowboys putting in some packages to try and involve Cavante, involve uh, Jalen Brooks as well um, as our uh, third receiver. So they're still trying to figure out that third wide receiver. So Tober needs to step up. And I think he's going to figure it out. He has he has no choice but to ball in this game. So um, this is going to be the Tober game. He comes out and he plays efficiently. And he shows that he can be another um, option for when Ferguson comes back next week versus the Baltimore Ravens. And then uh, also offensively establish your run game. Make Dak's uh, life easier, man. Just make it a lot easier on him. Stop forcing him and having him to throw the ball 35, 40 times. If we can have Dak Prescott around 25 to 30 pass attempts a game, we're going to be fine. And we're going to win a lot of football games because that means – from the extra 5 to 15 passes he would normally have to throw on a regular day. You tone that down a little bit, can save his arm, you know, and uh, establish a run game. We have guys that can get it done. We have the offensive line to get it done, in my opinion. Again, you had 105 rushing yards against the Cleveland Browns, which people said was the best defense in the league. So if you go up against New Orleans, who has a lesser talent, let's be for real, Cam Jordan is really good, but he's not on the level of Miles Garrett. Chase Young is really good, but he's on the level of Zadarius Smith. Dalvin Thompson is better than uh, uh, Kalen uh, Kalon Sanders, and they have way better talent. And uh, you know, JLK is better than Demario Davis in my opinion, but I still think that Demario Davis is still a really uh, top and revered linebacker in this league. No disrespect to him at all. And really, I just think that we're going to take we're handle take care of business against the Orleans Saints but the Dallas Cowboys have to go out there like they're going to win this football game and take it seriously uh but take this game seriously don't overlook them pay attention this week we know who we got moving forward but take care of this game uh don't turn the ball over again don't turn this ball over to this offense you don't want them having short fields and you don't want to give another really good offense short fields and making again that will make your life a lot harder on both sides of the ball, all three sides of the ball, if you're turning the ball over and giving up um, easy field position to the New Orleans Saints, right? 
Uh, control the uh, the penalties that you can control. Those are false starts, uh, roughing the passer, intentional grounding, uh, legal contact. Uh, what else is there? Um, I already said roughing the passer. Uh, encroachment on defense. Don't jump offsides. That's defensive offsides. So all that. All the penalties that you can control, control them. Uh, last but not least, uh, stay healthy. We we have to stay healthy. That is a skill. I understand a lot of people say that that's that's luck and whatever the case might be. No, staying healthy is a skill. You have to stay healthy because we need everybody uh, for this long season, right? I understand that we are sitting Jake Ferguson. I understand that we do have 17 more weeks of football or 16 technically more weeks of football we have to play. But we have to make sure that we get out of here healthy because we got next week a very, very uh, great opponent. Uh, who's going to play physical and who's going to try to beat you up. So get out of this game healthy because you need everybody next week, everybody. So, again, just to wrap it up, um, start fast. No excuses. You're at home. Two, contain Alvin Kamara. Three, move Michael Parsons around. Take advantage of another beat of offensive line. It's not a problem that they're, you know, it's the league and you're facing injuries just like how we are. So they have to take uh, advantage of what they can take advantage of, but that's not our fault that, that we're facing another beat up offensive line. And, I'm not really here for the discourse about um, why we beat up New Orleans Saints the way we did because you have to beat up offensive line. Uh, pay attention to detail. Don't fall for all that motion. Uh, motion has been giving this team a lot of problems. So pay attention to detail. Mainly our linebackers, our second and third level, will pay attention to that. Uh, play physical start to finish. Uh, enough said on that. Offensively, beat them over the head with CD, Cooks, and Tolbert. If they want to blitz, please do. Dak will carve you up, and uh, Tolbert needs to step up. Ferguson is out. Uh, establish your run game. Make Dak's life easier. Um, don't turn the ball over. Control the penalties that you can control. Encroachment. Um, pass interference. Uh, rough in the passer. Uh, offsides. Illegal hands to the face. All that. Stay healthy. And that's about it for the video. Hope you guys have a nice day. Stay safe. Stay blessed. Bye.